Workshop 1, Increase Cash Flow Hello everyone, this is Roan Celis Capistrano of One Million Club. Welcome to our Financial Foundation Educational Program. I believe that if you want to improve your personal finance, you have to start with increasing your cash flow. So, what you will learn from this video? Discover the 1,000 to 10,000 that you did not know you had. Cost of wasting 67 pesos a day. Understand assets and liabilities. Know the tax advantages of being a business owner. And see the potential of earning some money with IMG or International Marketing Group. To increase your cash flow, dalawa lang ang technique. Earn more and spend less. Let's find ways to save more and spend less. Step 1. What are my daily expenditures? Did I spend my money wisely? Kung sa tingin mo, di ka pa discipline sa paggastos, importante na sinusulat mo ang mga ginastos mo sa isang araw. Kagaya ng nasa sample natin, makikita mo na may binili ka na once mo lang, like soft drinks and sale item. Pwedeng kubikita ka lang ng 1,000 a day, pero pag nilista mo ang mga nagastos mo, sumusobra sa 1,000. Kaya madalas, wala pang sweldo, kinakapos na tayo sa budget. Step 2, Areas to Reevaluate Find money to save. Importante na alamin mo din kung saan ka pwedeng makasave. Every payday, madalas sale. Kesa magpunta ka sa mall, bakit di ka manood na lang ng movie sa bahay? Siguradong mas makakatipid ka. Possible monthly savings? We have sample here. Avoid ATM fees, checking and savings account fee, overdraft charges. Reduce number of lattes, alcohol, cigarettes each month. Save on electricity, aircon, electric fan, flat iron, etc. Cut down on shopping, like clothes and gadgets. For more details, you can download file related to this activity. Every day, kung di tayo nagbabudget, pwede gumagastos tayo ng 67 pesos or more sa mga bagay na di naman natin kailangan. 2,000 a month yan. What is the cost of wasting 67 pesos a day that would be growing at 10% interest. 2,000 after 10 years is 420,740 pesos. 2,000 after 20 years is 1,512,040 pesos. 2,000 after 30 years equals 4,342,630. Sa maliit na halaga, pwede pala magkaroon tayo ng 4 million kung matututo lang tayo sa pag-handle nito. Kung nasanay tayo sa poverty formula na kapag sweldo ay uunahing ibawas mga gastos, baguhin natin, pag sweldo dapat inuuna mo savings mo. Ang tawag dyan, prosperity formula. 20% ng income mo dapat nasa-save mo. Kung di mo pa magawa, pwede naman magsimula ka sa 10% savings every month. Ang importante, madisiplin ka. Ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin ng assets, liabilities, and net worth. What is asset? Something that has monetary value. What is liability? A claim on your asset. And what is net worth? Assets minus liabilities. From Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, Asset puts money in your pocket. Liability is any acquisition which takes money out of your pocket. Ibig sabihin, mag-focus ka sa pag-build ng asset mo. Dapat mas maraming pumapasok na pera sa iyo kaysa sa lumalabas. Halimbawa, kung may savings ka sa bank, asset 'yan. Stocks or investment mo, asset 'yan. Laptop, dapat ginagamit mo para kumita ka sa part-time mo like online job. Asset 'yan. Company loan, liability 'yan. Car loan, Importante na ginagamit mo sa business. Market value na 500, asset mo. Then, bawas mo 350,000 na balance ng loan mo. Ang net worth mo is 150,000. Cellphone, dapat ginagamit mo sa business, hindi pang forma lang. Market value, 30,000, asset. Minus 20,000, balance mo kung nakakredit card yan. Total asset mo, 690,000. Minus liability na 380,000 equals net worth na 310,000. 
For more details, you can download file related to this activity. We know that one way to increase cash flow is spend less. Another aspect is to earn more. How do we accomplish that? Be a business owner and understand the cash flow quadrant. According to Robert Kiyosaki, we have four quadrants. First quadrant, employee, you have a job. In this quadrant, no work, no pay. Kailangan papasok ka araw-araw. At least 8 hours a day. Second quadrant, self-employed. You own a job. Same as first quadrant, no service, no income. Ang pinagkaiba lang, wala kang boss. Third quadrant, business owner. You own a system and people work for you. For example, McDo. Kumikita ang business owner kahit nasa ibang bansa siya at nagbabakasyon. Kahit mga estudyante lang ang workers, tumatakbo ang negosyo. Kasi may system na sinusunod like gaano katagal iluluto ang french fries. Kahit wala ang owner, kumikita siya. Fourth quadrant, investor. Money works for you. Majority di alam how money works. Alam lang nila magtrabaho kaya madalas nasa quadrant 1. Unfortunately, 80% of the population is in quadrant 1 and 2. Kung nandito ka sa quadrant 1 and 2, isa ka sa malaki ang binabayaran na tax. Only 20% is in quadrant 3 and 4. They earn more and they have many tax advantages. If you are in quadrant 1 and 2, you are earning active income. Pag nag-stop ka magtrabaho, stop na din ang income mo. Your goal should be to move to quadrant 3 and 4. Pwede ka naman mag-start as investor in paper asset while having your full-time job now. Para someday, you earn passive income. Tax advantage of being a business owner. Sa business, bago ka i-tax, pwede mong ibawas sa income mo yung expenses mo like gas, communication expense, rent, office supplies, parking, toll fee. Pero pag empleyado ka, subject agad sa tax ang gross income mo. Di mo pwedeng deduct expense mo like transportation. Remember, money is time. Use your spare time to earn more. Consider a new business career in the financial industry with IMG or International Marketing Group. Start a part-time business. Here, you can become a financial professional. Share with and educate families to understand all aspects of financial services. Be a financial educator and help people save. Here, we offer a good potential earning. To summarize what we have learned from this workshop, it's not about how much money you will make, but how much you keep. It doesn't matter kung mag-start ka sa 1,000 a month. Ang importante, mabuild mo yung habit na nag-iipon ka. Know where your money is going. Importante na nagbabudget ka, lalo na kung may mga anak ka na. Spend less, save more. Apply the prosperity formula. Understand the concept of asset and liability. Every time na bibili ka, isipin mo, asset ba to o liability? Earn more. Kung salary ang source of income mo at madalas kapos ka sa budget, the best solution is to find ways to earn more. Find a part-time job or business. Become a business owner. If you don't know how to start, we are here to guide you. Become an investor. Mahirap kitain ang pera kaya make sure you invest portion of what you earn. Make your money work for you. Financial independence is not a dream. It's a decision. Again, I'm Roan Salis Capistrano. Kung nakatulong sa'yo ang video na to, share this video. And to know more about savings, investment, or kung gusto mong maging financial educator kagaya ko, visit bit.ly slash 1 million club or email me at roan.capistrano at gmail.com